Wanted, Weapons of Fate, the video game based on the movie, actually takes place fairly soon after the events of the movie are over, so yeah, sadly, Angelina Jolie is dead. Spoilers! So she does not appear in the game. Just in my dreams. You take on the role again of Wesley, who is uh, hanging out in his father's apartment, uh, and then a bunch of dudes start stealing some stuff. And that pretty much starts your adventure where you're going to try to figure out what really happened to your mother and the true fate of your father. And the one interesting story aspect to this is that, yeah, you play as Wesley, a guy who used to be a wuss who's now a badass assassin who likes to curse a lot, but you also get to play several levels that are flashbacks as your father, Cross. And the great thing about Cross is that he has a gun that shoots out several bullets at once that explode on people's faces. Now, is this a story that really needs to be told? Did people want to know even more about Wanted? Probably not, and you're really not going to learn that much that is going to make you care unless you truly love the movie for more than just its stylized look. But hey, you know, you need to have a story in a game to give you some reason, I guess, to continue forward. While the storyline does follow what you saw in the movie, uh, there are elements of the comic book brought into it as well. A lot of the areas that they used were inspired by stuff that is in the comic book. And also you actually get uh, Wesley and Cross's costumes, which were only seen in the comic book. Now the presentation is really slick, it follows a lot of the cues from the movie, so you get cool moments where the camera will track a bullet as it flies into somebody's brain, you actually get a lot of the sound effects straight from the movie, and you even get Morgan Freeman doing some voice acting here, so top-notch stuff. But at the same time, there are some pre-rendered cutscenes that have really bad resolution compared to the rest of the game. Doesn't make sense why they didn't just use the in-game engine, considering that it looks so much better than this crap that they throw on in between action scenes. Probably the best part of all is that easy difficulty is known as pussy mode, which uh, really does fit the style and the attitude of the movie and the comic book. Wisely, Wanted was created as a cover shooter. So you're going to be moving from point to point, basically hiding from enemies to avoid getting whacked, and then you're just going to be popping up and shooting. The enemies will also be using cover as well, so you're going to have to be smart about you know, finding positioning so that you can get guys, flanking them, etc. But the good news is, is that you do have the ability to curve bullets just like you do in the movie. And curving bullets isn't unlimited, it does take up some juice. As you see in the top right corner of the screen, little bullets there. Those bullets are basically your power, you fill one up every time you kill somebody, but then you can use that juice to curve bullets. It's a pretty cool system where the line turns red if something's obstructing the path of the bullet, turns white if you're going to hit the guy. And if you pull off a perfect shot, a lot of the times the camera will follow the trail of the bullet as it goes into somebody's neck. Ouch. Unlike Gears of War or other recent stop and pop shooters, one that actually has a really fast pace to it, where you're able to quickly move from one piece of cover to the next in just a matter of a few seconds. You're actually chaining moves so that you're moving through the environment very quickly. Now, there are some neat ideas for wanted weapons of fate. But there are also some parts that are really annoying, and the worst of those are there are two sections where you have to get hold of a Gatling gun and just shoot a bunch of guys in a courtyard. The problem is that there's no indication from the game via camera or audio cues on how to defend yourself from all the attacks coming at you. I'll give you an important tip, look up. That's right, you raise up the Gatling gun and you'll block the bullets. But there's nothing to tell you that. More than likely people will jump into this game, just die instantly at this part, get frustrated, and give up. In fact, if I hadn't been given a demo of this game where they showed me this part, I might not have been able to figure it out and I might have given up. The real problem with Wanted is that despite the slick presentation and some enjoyable gameplay, it's way too short. I was able to beat this game in three and a half hours. And the only real reason to play again is if you want to unlock and play headshot mode where you can only advance by killing everybody with headshots, or the unarmed mode where you just have to go around beating the crap out of people. But there's no multiplayer. There's no cool arcade scoring system, there's no ranking, so there's no real incentive to actually try to play through and be better. And none of the unlockables such as comic book covers or pictures of the development team are really going to inspire you to want to go and play again. So for a three and a half hour game, it's just not worth $60 no matter how much you love Wanted. And let's face it, nobody loves Wanted that much. Wanted Weapon of Fate is definitely the kind of game that you'd want to rent since you can easily finish it not just in a weekend, but in a single set.